Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Checking in on the technology sector, Apple and Facebook. So XLK saw some pullback today and it was certainly weaker than the S&P 500. It was weaker than the financial sector. So we're seeing a triple top, so to speak, 52, 63, 65, 62 at this high. And if we break the low of Friday, we're going to have a triple top and then a break of the higher low pattern. So 52.17 is a key support. We're closing in on a potential bearish MACD cross. We'll be watching for a bearish TCG cross of the four period exponential moving average back down below the eight period. And we are coming up on a key support test. So watching 52.17 very close. If we break that level, we are looking for consolidation in the short term. We have 52.19 as a gap to fill. And I actually take that back. Friday did fill that gap. But the lack of support that we formed on the way up because we just went straight up with bullish action, there's not going to be a ton of support on the way down. There is going to be support. And we're going to be looking at pretty much the lows where the bulls bought the dip each day. But there's no consolidation support so what i mean by that is see how we consolidated here and pulled back and cooled everything off this support 49.86 would be a lot stronger than any given individual day here in the middle of this run-up because there wasn't much pressure put on by the bears there wasn't much test for the bulls in order to continue to the upside so watching 52.17 extremely close and the weekly time frame is currently forming a bearish reversal candlestick after seeing a big time move over the past two months looking like we could be in for some consolidation for the first time in a long time on the weekly time frame Apple bulls are still holding up. We do have a bearish Mac decross already occurring. We have a triple top at the all time high. So that currently lines up with the triple top on XLK. So for Apple, that triple top is at 137, 48, 44, 44. If we break 136, 28, that's a heads up that the trend is likely changing. If we break 135, 26, the low of Friday, that is the signal, in my opinion, that short term consolidation is finally coming. We've been trading sideways, and that would mean we're going to start trading to the downside. So we're watching the exponential moving averages here. Already got that bearish MACD cross. Weekly time frame has been two months of straight upside. Bearish reversal spinning top last week, currently not being confirmed, but we lost the upper Bollinger Band support, and a red week this week would confirm that bearish reversal candlestick. So again, watching that low of Friday. I'm watching the low of Friday for so many individual names and the markets as a whole because that is a clear consolidation level that held, and now we're coming back to test that level. So Facebook, after the all-time high yesterday, rejecting from the upper Bollinger Band, and we pulled back just below the upper Bollinger Band again today. For Facebook, the key support, you guessed it, I'm looking at the low of Friday, 134.16, and the middle Bollinger Band is going to be just below that level the next couple of days as well. So 134.16 and the loss of that middle Bollinger Band, we will be looking for some more sustained pullback on the daily time frame. And this just shows you we have a bearish MACD cross that occurred way back here in early February, and we've been trending to the upside, even though the MACD has been staying bearish. So watching for the exponential moving averages to give a bearish cross. Look at the bull cross that we got here on those exponential moving averages back in early January. Tons of follow through to the upside, so keeping a close eye out for that bear cross. And the Facebook weekly time frame here or lower, if we close here or lower on Friday, it's a bearish reversal candlestick, either a gravestone doji or an inverted hammer. We're going to have to see how the next three trading days go. But it is very close to seeing the overall markets, the tech sector, they're all on the verge of giving us the signals that consolidation is coming. So we're keeping an eye out for it. We're being very cautious, bullish up here. And the reaction to the presidential address tonight should have a pretty significant impact on how we fare the rest of the week. So I appreciate you watching. Keep an eye on those lows of Friday and we'll check back in tomorrow.